George Birkbeck started this university because he had a fire for something that needed to be changed. Birkbeck was founded 200 years ago to allow people who are working the opportunity to get their degree at the same time. There was a huge resistance to educating the working man and that's what George Birkbeck stepped into combat. I don't come from a traditional background, I don't have A-levels. Before I came to Birkbeck, I had been a man of the cloth um, and I've done that for over a decade. I left high school at 16. At that point, I thought that, you know, my education was done then. I was really, really good at French and um, I don't know for what reason, I got the lowest grade in the A-level. So I just thought, right, never studying French again. Probably 40 years later, I thought, you know, I really loved my French. I have a disability, but, but it supported me throughout, providing the necessary equipment that I needed. It's that, this idea that you don't come into an institution and conform, but you bring all of who you are. I felt it was a natural home for anybody, no matter what, where you came from, your background, and I think that's, that's what struck a chord with me. Birkbeck was one of the first institutions to admit women and educate women, only seven years after it was founded. Something Birkbeck has always been doing and something I think Birkbeck is going to keep doing is sort of looking at all the doors that are closed to different people in education and building an institution where they don't exist. I'm coming from Yemen, a country devastated by war, and the only option for me was to, to get a scholarship. I mean, I've left Birkbeck with a first class honours degree Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought that would have been possible. J'ai eu beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'opportunités de, de travailler ici et uh, aussi en France. The support from the community has been critical in enabling us to both build these facilities, but also so that we can learn from people with a whole range of different backgrounds and, and, and continue to improve the research that we do. It's investment in, in our uh, social justice. It's an investment in the future. Birkbeck has always had its own identity and its identity has always been about really creating possibilities and that's what we want to continue doing for the next 200 years. With education, there is power. If you can tap into that, leave yourself a legacy that lives beyond who you are.